how to graph y equals the absolute value of x. This is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. You will need graph paper and a pencil. Press pause anytime as needed. If you don't have graph paper, you can download this PDF at this website, which can be printed with 20 grids on each side. We'll start by recalling the definition of the absolute value of a number. The absolute value of a number is equal to the number itself if the number is positive or zero, and it's equal to its opposite if x is negative. So the answer to this is always a positive number or zero. We need a graph grid. We're going to go ahead and make a table. And the seven values we prefer to use for this one are these values for x. So go ahead and pause and complete the table. For 3, 2, 1, and 0, the absolute value is equal to itself. And for the negative values, they're equal to their opposites. So now we're going to go ahead and plot those seven points, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, and so on. And you should notice patterns here, both in the graph and in the table. And so we'll kind of help you with that. So here's the graph, here's the table. Graph, table, and in hot pink, graph, table. So this is called, wait for it, symmetry. These points are symmetric about the y-axis or the line x equals zero. And what shape is the graph? Well, it's the letter V. We'll go ahead and connect the dots and see that V. And this is the graph of y equals absolute value of x. So some terminology you should be familiar with. Uh, this is the vertex of this parabola at zero, zero. And here is a mirror line, but the proper term is axis of symmetry. And the reason it's called the axis of symmetry is because points on either side are equidistant from this line of sy symmetry, but in opposite directions. And now we're going to look at the absolute value dance. How would you graph this and, and, and be able to graph any absolute value function? So we will start off with the vertex. And then from there, we'll do the dance. Right one, up one. Right two, up two. And right three, up three. And going in the opposite direction, left one, up one. Left two, up two. And left three, up three. Because the absolute value of negative numbers are, is the opposite, the positive number. Draw the curve. And we'll just show again the axis of symmetry. So here's the graph of y equals absolute value of x using the parab or I'm sorry, using the absolute value dance. An alternative way to graph it, I'm going to use technology to here to illustrate this, is to go back and use the definition. And you recall the absolute value of x is equal to x if it's positive or zero, opposite of x if it's negative. So we're going to type that in as a piecewise function into f1 of x and go ahead and graph it. And what you'll notice here is this is graphing the line y equals x on this side and y equals the opposite of x on this side. Go through the origin, slope of negative 1 here, slope of positive 1 here, except it's restricted with these particular domains. And so to help you see that better, look, here's the graph y equals x, this part of it. y equals the opposite of x, this graph, this part of it. So just an alternative way. Finally, we'll look at domain and range. So the domain for this, we have the graph and the table shown. So you'll notice the x values here. And the domain seems to be all the x values along here because all the, it has y coordinates above it, y points above it. So the domain is all real numbers, and we usually write that with a script R. As the range goes, if we look at the y values, you can see they're uh, always positive or zero including decimals and fractions and square roots and irrational numbers. And we write that the set of all y such that 
y is a member of the real numbers, y is greater than or equal to zero. So here is the domain and range. Where can you find the absolute value shape in the world? Here's, here's one possibility. We encourage you to interact with another video in this series.